Your signature move, you didn't use it in the last fight because you didn't need to, but is the arm bar where you, it's a submission hold where you just basically you twist somebody's arm until they give up, yes? Um, it, you, you put pressure on the elbow joint until it dislocates. And it hurts so m very much that people mostly say, okay, I've had enough. Mostly. I mean, I've been arm barred before and... You uh, have? Yeah. How's that feel? <laughs> Well, it doesn't feel awesome. I mean, I was like 18 years old and I was at the Ju the German like World Cup and I threw I, I was winning, there was like 40 seconds left. I was fighting this Finnish chick and I threw her and I left my arm out and she before I even knew what happened, she dislocated my elbow. So I was like, well, it's already out. I might as well try to get out, right? And so I tried to get out and my elbow popped back in and then I still couldn't get out so she popped out again. So then I'm like, well, she already popped it out twice. I can't just let her pop it out twice for no reason. And so then I finally got out, and in, in judo, you can't ask for the medics on the mat unless you get disqualified, so I had to pop it back in myself. And then I had like 20 seconds left, and I, I won the fight, but um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because I, I had to fight several other times that day, and so, you know, after that, I wasn't really spry. I think you're even tougher than me. I <laughs> So uh, I don't know if you, you are you aware that Eminem has referenced you in a song that just came out this yes, week. Yes, yes, I'm very aware. He, it's called Shady 15, and he said, "I got a magic Johnson. It's like a magic wand allows me to not let a blonde arouse me. If Ronda Rousey was on the couch with the condoms out, holding a thousand magnums at once to pounce me, I'll laugh in response to how she dances and flaunts it around me. Her flat little badonka donk is bouncing around." All I see is Paul not Paulie Malinaji, she's slaughterhouse in a blouse. Which is maybe the greatest nickname. Uh, no, he's, he's a great artist, and art isn't meant to be nice, it's meant to make you oh, feel something. Oh, do you something. think this is insulting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Because I don't it think is it so... is insulting, is it? I don't know. But I like being called a slaughterhouse in a blouse. I think that's cool. And I, you know, I might not be perfect, but parts Maybe. of me are pretty awesome. And I think that if Eminem took like the ass Pepsi challenge, he would totally pick me as his favorite. Oh, I see. Maybe if you get him in an arm bar, he will tell you whether it was insulting <laughs> or not. No, I don't think that's necessary, but you know, like. Uh, slaughterhouse in a blouse though. That should, you gotta get rid of Rowdy. Does Rowdy Roddy Piper approve of your co-opting his nickname? Uh, yeah, I was actually, before my first amateur fight, my, my uncle Gene LaBelle, uh, he, oh. He used to coach. I know Gene LaBelle. Yeah, he yeah. used to be the grappling coach of Roddy Roddy Piper. So I went I to see. him and I was like, Mr. Piper, I'm about to have an amateur fight. Can I use your name? He's like, yeah, sure, kid. You know, like brushing it off and now it turned into this big thing. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> pretty exciting. So your next opponent is somebody that, or would you say you're friendly with her or? Yeah, yeah, I like her a lot. You like her a lot. <laughs> and so does that affect you when you get in, in the ring and you're, you're going to fight her? No, not at all. But it, it kind of affects, like, it makes you more introspective a little bit. Because if you're fighting someone that you don't like, it, you don't think about it. You know, I, I'd want to beat this person up. I don't think about it. But um, if you're fighting somebody you like, like, when I get in the stare downs, like, I, I don't try to just blankly look and not blink. Like, I try to think things at the person so it shows in my eyes. And I walked away from her last time we did a stare down, and I was like, man, that was pretty messed up of me. Like, I thought I was like, wow, you thought some mean things. And if it's someone you don't like, you don't think about it. But right. she's like, you know, she looks like she's about to pick up her kid from soccer practice. And I'm just thinking like, you know, I don't even want to say what I was thinking. That's where you... <laughs> so like, yeah, it makes you question it when it's someone that you like. But I mean, I would You're hang out to, on her. To do a job and the job has to be done. Yeah, she's trying you're... to do the exact same thing to me. You're a killer. You're a slaughterhouse in a blouse. <laughs> a blouse. Do people still wear blouses? I don't still wear blouses, <laughs> but, you know. With the whole Eminem thing, I mean, I feel like getting wrapped about by Eminem is like getting armbarred by me. It might not be so pleasant if you're on the other side of it, but it's so skillfully it's done. Honor. You have to be honored. Of course yeah. it is. I'm not even sure it's an insult. I'd have to read so this either. a couple of hundred times. <laughs> Hi, internet watchers. Jimmy Kimmel here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for all our latest viral videos. And while you're here, don't forget to get in a very stupid fight in the comments section, okay?